Check this out. Listen. From the perspective of a pharmaceutical drug maker, our mind's ability to heal ourselves, also known as placebo, is their arch enemy. Think about it. Let me paint you a picture. PhD scientist at top pharmaceutical company in Switzerland, working day in and day out to develop some new drug for some disease. Applying all of his brilliance, his intelligence and his education, day in and day out, doing science to develop new drugs. Comes home to his wife. Oh, you're home late again, honey, working hard? It's like, yeah, I'm working hard. I'm trying to develop this new drug. How's it going? Honestly, I don't know. I'm not gonna find out until clinical trials and I can see if it beats placebo. I don't know if I can do it though, honey. I just don't know. Come on, come on, honey. That's not the man I married. You get back there. I believe in you. You gotta believe in yourself. Like, oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah. Goes back to the office day in, day out, applying 100% of his brilliance, his education, and not only his, his entire team of Ivy League educated doctors working day in and day out for years to develop this drug. Sweating. They come to the clinical trials. They've done their best. Now it's time to see if this new drug they've developed can beat placebo. The mind's ability to heal itself and to heal the body. Our innate ability to heal ourselves is his arch enemy to his career, his brilliance. So he tests it. He divides the test subjects in two groups, the placebo group and the test group. They don't know which one is which, that's the point. Yeah, so in the test group, the group that's given the drug, the drug is 88% effective. All right, okay, cool, not bad, not bad. And uh, how about the placebo guys? 88.2? Fuck! Ten years of work down the drain. Back to the fucking drawing board. It's like, fuck, man. Ten years wasted. My wife's probably gonna leave me now. Him and all his Ivy League educated, top of the line scientists worked for the last decade to produce a drug that couldn't beat our own innate ability to heal ourselves. And that's why I say, from the perspective of a pharmaceutical executive or a pharmaceutical scientist, placebo is the arch nemesis. Think about other arch nemesis that we know. Batman and Joker, uh, Spider-Man and Venom, you name it. That's us to them. The difference is, unlike Batman and unlike Spider-Man, we're not even trying. We're not even aware of what we're doing. It's not like we get up every morning trying to train our body to beat the pharmaceuticals. It's just doing that naturally. We're just like, what? Well, oh, is it is it tax season again? Wow, Sally from accounting is being a real pain in the ass. Excuse me, waitress, waitress, I, I, I ordered buffalo wings, spicy buffalo wings. These are sweet and sour. We have no idea what's going on. And yet, in a state of complete ignorance and not even trying, our body's innate ability to heal itself often stumps the efforts of the greatest minds in the world. So what would happen if we actually started trying?